Hey guys, this is Nick from Security Pros, and today we are going to be setting up motion detection on our one of our IP cameras. So the first thing we want to do is right click anywhere on the screen with our mouse, and we're going to select the main menu. From here, we're going to go to the alarm section. Inside of the video detection, we want to enable the motion detection under motion detection tab. We want to select which camera we want to use. Um, I only have one camera attached to this NVR right now. So if you had multiple cameras, you would see um, a few other channels here being listed. But uh, for D1, which is channel number one, we want to make sure that that is enabled. We want to double check that record channel is also highlighted. These are the default settings, by the way, so you really shouldn't need to change anything here. And if you plan on setting up multiple cameras at the same time, we probably want to go through the other channels that you have listed here, whether you have D2, D3, D4, and we just want to make sure that they're also enabled. Once that's all done, we want to click apply at the bottom right hand side. And if we right click, we're going to go back to that main menu that we're uh, going to select another option here at the bottom. This is our storage settings. So right down here in storage, Okay, now that we're inside of our storage options, we want to make sure that we're under the schedule tab on the left hand side. We also want to double check and make sure we are under the record tab. Uh, the first thing you're going to see here is all these lines, all these days of the week. Um, and what this basically is telling me is that it is uh, recording for 24 seven recording uh, Sunday through Saturday. So every single day of the week, um, this is this camera is going to record 24 seven. And that's how they're set right out of the box. Um, you don't need to do anything to keep it this way. So if you don't want to set up motion, you don't need to go any further. Um, however, if you did want to set up motion, there are two ways to do that. And the first way is to go over to this little gear icon on one of the days of the week over here. It doesn't matter which one you click. I'm going to click the one under Sunday. So I'll click on this gear icon over on the right. And we want to switch it to motion detection. So the first thing we want to do is find period number one. Right now it's set to general, which is 24 seven recording. Um, then this is a 24 hour timeline here. We have zero to 2400 hours. Uh, so this is a full day's worth of 24 seven recording. Now we want to remove that. So we want to get rid of general. We're going to remove the checkbox by clicking on that once. And we're going to go over to motion and we're going to place the checkbox there by clicking on that. Now what this is going to do, because I clicked the gear icon on Sunday, it's only making the changes for Sunday. So I'm going to copy this to every single day of the week. And you can customize this if you don't want to do every single day. If you want to remove your days, you can do so now. Uh, but I'm going to do 24-7 motion detect recording on every single day. And once we're done, we're going to click OK. And you'll notice that all of the lines now changed yellow. And if we look at this legend up at the top here, these are the different record types that we have. Um, by default, it was set to that general. But right now we have it on motion, and that's uh, indicated by the yellow lines. So one more thing to do here, if you want to, I know I only have one channel recorded, uh, I'm sorry, one channel selected right now. So D1, and then I only have one camera attached to the NVR. So say you have multiple cameras, you may want to copy them. So at the bottom here, copy two, you may want to copy them to all available channels if you have them connected. Now I only have one, so I'm not going to do that. It's not really that big of a deal for me. Uh, but for you, you may want to select multiple cameras and you can do so at the copy two button at the bottom there. Once we're all done here, we want to make sure that we apply our changes. Now, you always want to apply when you're done making a change inside of a menu if you want it to stick. Um, and I did say that there was two ways to do this. So I showed you the first way. Um, I'm going to default this to kind of show you the other way. So up here in our legend, what we can do is we want to select all. Or you can select your days. If you if you don't want to do, make changes to every single day at once, you can change that now. Uh, but I'm going to do all, all days of the week. And I'm going to left click and I'm going to remove by dragging and holding my click down and moving the mouse over to the right here, basically erasing it. And then once you're done, you can release the click. And now what we want to do is we want to place a uh, motion detect recording. So I'm going to click once under the motion legend. And we're going to click once. And we're going to hold that click down and we're going to drag our mouse over to the right here until we reach 2400 hours at the end. And we're going to apply and you are all done. Now if you wanted to copy, again, you want to copy at the bottom. But that's the, the alternative way of selecting all days of the week or particular days. Um, you can draw them on the, on the screen there as well. So either way, it works fine. Uh, but you just want to make sure that these are all yellow. That's going to be important to make sure that that motion detect is working. So I'm going to apply that one more time. And I'm going to right click. We're going to go back to the main menu. And I want to test 
out my theory here that our motion detect is working. So right now I have the camera full screened. Um, nothing exciting, it's literally looking at a wall. But um, you'll notice at the bottom left hand side of the screen, there is no record icon. What this means is that we're seeing the live view, but we're not recording anything to the hard drive at the moment. So I'm gonna put some motion on the camera. I'm just gonna wave my hand in front of the camera here. And you'll notice the red icon pops up, which indicates motion detection. And the green icon is indicating that it is in fact recording. Now, that's something you probably want to test out, you know, just to make sure that your settings are all set, everything looks good. You'll notice that the, um, the, the red icon has disappeared and the green icon disappears afterwards. That is normal. Uh, there is a post record. So after motion is detected, the camera will continue to record a few seconds just so it's not as choppy and it doesn't look weird. You know, it kind of gives you a nice smooth transition of video. Um, we'll test it one more time just to make sure hand in front of the camera, motion, and boom, everything seems to be working fine. So it's always good practice uh, once you make any changes like this. Um, you know, if you have them on your house or your business, you might want to go take a quick walk outside. Just make sure that, you know, all this stuff is working because you don't want to set this stuff incorrectly and, you know, miss out on anything. But uh, that wraps it up for motion. Everything looks A-OK -okay on my system. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email.